Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. We need to chat, Nintendo. Uh, I think the fans... We, you know, we admire the fact that you've been around for, like, a hundred-something years. Uh, you know, starting with, like, playing cards and, and stuff like that. And we're amazed that you've basically become the dominant uh, uh, player when it comes to games. But we need to chit chat for here, uh, chit chat here for a second. What are you doing, Nintendo? You have Mortal Kombat, Xbox, and we got it on the Switch right here. Why does it look like it belongs on the the GameCube or the Wii? So, for reference, we got Liu Kang and Sindel. You know, take in the details. So, you know, simple things. The skin, the detail of the skin. Uh, you know, you have the hair. It looks very realistic. Uh, fingers, they look like fingers. You know, you can see, you know, the skin right there and the, each little joint. Um, the mouths, eyes, all that. Also, let's talk about Liu Kang's upgrade from being a mortal to, like, being a god now who can like snap his fingers and create black holes uh Liu Kang come on uh -huh. you know and Sindel you know look at her hair very realistic I love you know you, instead of just having black right up there and then the white you can see the the whitish right there how it's like going through parts of the black although it's like going through parts of the black but none of the black is going through any of the white but you know, the headband, just the small little details. This is the Switch version. This looks like it's on the GameCube or the Wii. Now, when I remember when Pokemon Scarlet and Vi um, Sword and Shield actually it was Sword and Shield, people were like, "Oh man, this looks great for a GameCube game." You know, they showed the tree. You know, you saw trees, and it's like, did you just take trees from like the GameCube or N sixty four or whatever and slap them in the game? Because that's what it looks like. Um, even now we have Scarlet and Violet, and in the recent. DLC, uh, the Teal Mask. Uh, in Kitakami, there is an area um, where it's like the Crystal Lake or something. Um, and it's a pretty open area. So for lag to happen, it really shouldn't be a problem. So you have this crater like area. So you got the you know the crater like walls going up, and you have the you know the lake in the middle and it's got the terrestrial crystals and everything like from um area zero um you know obviously pokemon walking around but you get close to that lake and it lags like horribly it lags now this is current day most games should be running at 60 frames these pokemon games i believe are running at 30 People created like mods and everything to help, you know, to make it run at 60, but it's actually running at like 30, which completely ridiculous. And at first, I thought it was because I was watching uh, TTAR and I thought it was just, I thought it was my video. I thought something was wrong with the video, but then he mentioned it and I saw his, um, you know, it, he was mentioning it and I was like, oh, oh. And then I was. I can't remember who the other person was, but I was watching them want, uh, play it, and same thing. It lagged in the same spot. I'm like, what is going on with Nintendo? Nintendo... <laughs> Just look at this. Look how horrible this is. You can't look at this and say this looks like a Switch game. Now, if you look at Breath of the Wild and um, Tears of the Kingdom, yeah, they look gorgeous, but it's thanks to cell shading. If you were to take out all that shading, it looks really bad. It looks really goofy. Like, if you, you took Link and Zelda and all the other characters and you took that cell shading off, 
they look really ugly. You know, there's no detail or anything. This the shading, that specific shading, that's what gives everything detail. But if you take it away, it looks really bad. Um, this looks like it belongs on the GameCube or the Wii. This does not look like a Switch game. You compare that um, to this, just this absolute complete difference. The detail, the lighting, the shading. You know, Nintendo has always had this habit of just like not wanting to keep up with the times. Like even recently, they were, if you played a game, you know, you could be copyrighted, you know, get a copyright strike for just for the music. You know, I remember doing uh, my playthrough of Ocarina of Time, and I don't remember what number episode it was, but it was uh, called Kick Off Your Sunday Shoes, because I get, you know, it's getting to Goron City and Darunia dancing, so Kick Off Your Sunday Shoes. Uh, and it was copyrighted because of Saria's song. But then I went back not too long ago, like a year or so ago, and it had been lifted. It was Now it's able to be monetized. Doesn't matter. I mean, those videos don't get any views anyway, but uh, it went from copyright to being perfectly fine. But then you still have Nintendo going after people for making ROM hacks. You know? They're not making any money from it. They're not doing anything major. They're just taking games that they're passionate about and creating you know games from it um and you know they'll they'll get pissed off at like rom sites and stuff like that but some of these roms that you can get you can't buy them anymore you know like all these old nintendo games or super you can't find them anymore so to, to for the old the newer generation to enjoy these roms are the only way to play them you know you have what is it um Hong Kong 97. Yeah. The only way to enjoy that game. Enjoy. Loosely enjoy. Uh, is to play with a ROM. That's the only way. Because there's like no physical copies anywhere. It somehow managed to get up, you know, dumped online. But there's no one could find a physical copy. Um, but Nintendo just refuses to keep up with the times. Here we are with Xbox and PlayStation, you know, uh, Microsoft and um, Sony able to do games like this. And then you have this for uh, Nintendo. Like, Nintendo, guys, you create, you create some of the best games. You know, Mario and Zelda. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of a Zelda game that's bad. I mean... Apart from the CDI games, which Nintendo had nothing to do with. But I can't think of a Mario, uh, a Zelda game that's bad. I would love to see a Zelda game. You know, more in this style, a very realistic look. You know, the cell shading is cool, but they just, they don't update their hardware. You know, and I think they said something about, oh, the next console is going to be powerful. Well, they said the same thing about the Wii. They said the same thing about the Wii. And, and uh, you know, this is, this is, you know, what we got for the Wii or uh, for current console. You get GameCube graphics. So for, for, for Nintendo to get to this point... It's going to take them like three more generations of consoles just to get to this point. And it's ridiculous because they just refuse to just keep up. It's Nintendo. They should have no problem finding people to supply software and whatever else they need uh, to, to get games to look like this. You know, they're losing out on so many amazing games because their hardware can't support it. Again, like... The, the Pokemon games, they're running at 30 frames. When every one of, like, uh, Sony's and Microsoft's are pretty much running, what, it, it's like a standard 60. You know, 30 frames was queued back in, you know, days of, like, Super, um, Nintendo 64 and GameCube and all that, but this is 2023. Current day, when you have people who can make games that look like this, you need to step your game up, Nintendo. You need to step your game up. 
having good games, it's not enough anymore. People don't want games that 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 look, you know, just sloppily thrown together. Like, look at that. That right there, Sindel right there, looks that that's like PlayStation PS2 looking Sindel right there. Look at that crap. Look at the lack of. De- and you expect people to pay, pay money for this? This is because your hardware can't, can't support it. Your hardware can't, uh, uh, you know. And this is, as someone who loves Nintendo, I mean, I love Nintendo. But, guys, come on. Come on, you need to keep up with the times here. This looks atrocious. Just... just i don't there's another one where is it yeah we got here look at this look i mean is this supposed to be an april fool's joke because we're pretty late you know april several months ago unless this is an early april fool's joke which still pretty early but look at the shading, look at the detail, look at the particle effects, the shadowing. Uh, depth? You know, that's another thing. You know, you, you can see, um, you know, right there, the shadow under the arm. And then, no, nothing over there. Uh, you see the, the shadow right here. You see the gl- kind of a bit of a gleam from the light that's actually coming through. Some of it you can tell is probably coming from the portal back there. But then you get over here and there's nothing. Nothing. You can see he clearly has like a tattoo or something right there. Nothing. You know, it's like it wants to exist. It's having difficult existing. Um, You know, you see his hair a lot more detailed as opposed to just like a block of, you know, just spiked uh, a blob. I look at this. The shine, the detail right there. Just so basic looking. It's just Nintendo. Like this is a complete joke. It's a joke. But Again, it's going to take Nintendo three more console generations just to get what, uh, do what Sony and Microsoft can already do. You know, Sony and Microsoft, three more generations, everything's going to be completely virtual or something, and Nintendo's going to be like, look at these realistic graphics. It's like, wow, great, Nintendo. It only took you, uh, three generations. So, what, three generations? That's, uh, the Switch came out in, what, 2016? Right? It's 2016, right? I think so. So about like seven, eight years since it's come out. So it's going to take them another, what? Eight, almost 20 years to catch up to where Microsoft and uh, and Sony are. Again, Nintendo is great when it comes to games, you know, creating games, storytelling, and you know, especially with Zelda games or Metroid or something. But then you have your Mario games, you have Kirby, you have Smash Brothers and Mario Kart, all these iconic games. Now, some of those, you really don't need advanced graphics. But you have this. This this is embarrassing. You know, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Again, as amazing as they looked, you take away that cell shading, and it looks really bad. You know, I don't think people would mind if they made, you know, like a Breath of the Wild game in like the Twilight Princess version of graphics, like the darker, the more realistic. Um, because even Twilight Princess seemed like it had better graphics than what this does. You know, the textures seemed a lot better. Uh, the model seemed a lot better. Just... 
even now it holds up really well you know even without the hd remake it still holds up really well um but the fact that people are going to be paying however much money for this for this nintendo get your crap together get your crap together you have all this money you have all the money in the freaking world use it to update your hardware run your games at more than just 30 frames 60 frames should be the standard the fact that your graphics still look like they're from the gamecube switch uh the ten, uh, gamecube and wii era you know you look at this and you think of like maybe skyward sword then again same thing with skyward sword that was holds up pretty well still but i'm Anyway, also the Switch version. Switch version with those graphics paired with Megan Fox's terrible voice acting. That's just, that's just, oh my god, amazing. That's the cherry on top of this shit show of a game. Or the Switch at least. Is Megan Fox's terrible voice in that game. So not only does the game look terrible, you have to hear her voice. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.